Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Taurus. How are you guys this week? This is a general read, any aspect of your life, take it as it best resonates for you. Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? Ooh, somebody here is releasing. This is good, this is a release. All these things that are bothering you, upsetting you, uh, healthy habits, patterns, relationship energy negativity it's gone see something's opening up someone's been kind of stuck now they're releasing it so someone's ready to open up someone is definitely open uh, for something here i like this oh yeah there you go taurus the energy of just letting it go yeah we have someone here who's been feeling kind of hopeless and helpless but there's the sun see it's an energy it's saying to release all this negative horrible energy yeah, to look out into the future, look at the bright side. I see change definitely coming here. Yeah, this is someone who kind of feels it's hopeless and helpless. It's the energy of four being stuck, but I feel something is about to change. Something is opening up. This could be job situation. It could be somebody opening up emotionally. Yeah, this is someone looking at the sun here. See, it's never helpless and hopeless. There's abundance. This is something... Uh, very positive starting to come in here. It's just, it's how you look at things too. That's what I feel like it's trying to say. So let's just put this aside. I don't see this card come out often or this one. I haven't seen them come out in readings for a long time. So this is actually good because someone's letting it go. Yeah, this is someone feeling a little beat up, Taurus. Looking back at all this hard work, feeling beat up, feeling like giving up. But don't give up, okay? Feeling helpless and hopeless, but it's not. Things are getting better. They're going to get better. Okay, whether it's work, your love life, whatever it is. Something's about to open up. The sun is about to shine. <laughs> could be job openings, could be anything. Yeah, yeah, we have an emperor here. I do see Aries. Now, this could be yourself as well. See, I, this is an energy of someone here who's definitely in their power. I mean, it's an emperor. It's often a person who's very stable. This is a person who's no quitter. So that's what I feel. It's energy of releasing that. See, looking back, putting it behind and keep moving forward. This person's not a quitter. They're not giving up. Very nice. Very nice. If that's yourself, it could be this other person too. Yeah, someone hits a change of perspective. It's all how you look at it. Taking a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective. So this is where somebody is now changing their perspective. What they felt like giving up that was hopeless, it's no longer hopeless. Wow. Look at that. So there is something new. A new job. A new love. Beautiful. We have an emperor here. I mean, this could be yourself feeling that way. But a change of perspective. It could be someone around you checking you out. But just release it. That's what I feel. It's all how you look at it. I see happiness and joy, possibilities, opportunities opening up. Mm -hmm. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility, a creative pursuit. This is what two people bring to the table. Okay, It's also working on a creative venture, working in a team setting, going down this path. You're heading down a path to something better. This is really nice. You could just meet somebody. This could be a boss or someone. You could just, you know, connect with this person. It could lead you down a whole other path. Gorgeous energy. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone seeking. It's always that remembers. Whatever it is you're seeking, someone seeking someone like you are the same thing. That's what I, I feel is happening. It's all about perspective. Seeking something new, see, leaving all this negativity behind, maybe leaving a person, a situation behind for something new. And it's all about perspective. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, see, you're looking at this. Just grounding yourself, you're looking at this. It's also an energy to decide what it is you're seeking. See, someone's seeking something just like you. <laughs> see, there it is. I see happiness and joy. Things are getting better. Yeah, but if you've been feeling helpless, like whatever it is you've been wanting, it isn't happening. It's going to happen. It's telling you to look at all the possibilities, keeping your options open, exploring other options, looking for something better. See, someone's looking for the same thing you are. Beautiful Emperor energy. Very nice. Let's have a look. One more card for Taurus. Oops. 
Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone reaching out. See, some of you got someone who's not reciprocating. It could be a relationship. They're not paying their share of the bills. They're not cooperating, compromising, whatever the situation. This is where I feel you're about to receive. <laughs> see what you're searching. Yeah, things are about to get better. It might take a little time, but it's going to get better and better. Okay, so like I say, maybe it's more money going out than's coming in. You're looking at all your options. You're looking at creative pursuits. But I also feel two people possibly coming together. What two people bring to the table? So there's going to be some reciprocity, but things are going to get better. So let go of that negativity, this helpless, hopeless energy. Okay, stop focusing on it so much. Yeah, I see a lot of focus on money, house and home, creative pursuits. But whatever it is you're seeking, someone else is seeking it as well. <laughs> I see an emperor. Now, this could be the masculine, a masculine Taurus. I see somebody maybe with Pisces in their chart. I see some Leo, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the emperor could be anyone. Now, this could be a boss, but... You know, I'm, I'm seeing the energy of options and possibilities. This is someone who knows a good thing when they see it. It's often a person fantasizing a little too. <laughs> Sometimes that's what can help you get out of that, release that negativity. Just kind of try to look at the bright side, just kind of fantasize where you see yourself, what it is that you're looking for. See, if you ask, you shall receive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you got something really good ha going to happen. It looks to me, it just looks like a lot of it starts with a change of perspective. Why is the nine of wands there? This is a person who doesn't give up. I mean, this is someone putting something behind. They're almost there, but they're not giving up. Yeah, there's been obstacles, challenges, chaos, conflict, drama. Yeah, this is someone who's, you know, letting it go. <laughs> Looking at things from a different perspective. Yeah, so this is definitely someone. It could be someone who was in a relationship where there's nothing with you know, chaos, conflict, arguing. This is someone feeling beat up. And they're just putting it behind. It looks like a relationship. So it is a, definitely a person with a change of perspective, releasing. But I also feel yourself here too. See what it is you're seeking. I feel like this person's going to, it's funny because this comes out, this is what you're seeking, they're seeking, they're going to come right towards you. <laughs> so don't, you know, that's why it's energy of help is on the way. That's what I kind of feel is interesting. Help is on the way. So, but yeah, it has to do with being fair. See, this is somebody here being just and being fair. Somebody wasn't being fair. This is often a person who, if you have someone who's like that, they want everything their way or the highway, yeah, I can see you thinking of moving on. But I really feel like you've got an emperor here who's going through that. Um, they're definitely a fighter. They go after what they want. They're not a, they're not worried if there's options. They don't they're not they don't care if there's competition. So this could be competition for jobs and stuff too. This is often a person who gets a lot of you know, a lot of people competing for their attention. See, competition. So, yeah. But I feel, and it, maybe it's yourself checking this person out. But it's a, really just a change of perspective. That's what I feel. Once you change perspective, how you see things. Yeah, you know, lots of Pisces energy. Trust your intuition, your inner knowing. You already know everything you need to know. Yeah, you know, I feel this. You might know this person. But I actually feel like this emperor energy is someone who... All, is very wise. They have a lot of inner wisdom. This is someone who's releasing. They're leaving something in the past. They're, they're with somebody who isn't right for them. Okay, Somebody who just isn't right. And it could be yourself that way too. Yeah, And it could be this emperor. Maybe they're just not right for you if they want everything their way or the highway. But I actually feel this is someone new. It's more like this person's this is a person who just they only put up with so much and then that's it. They move on. And it could be, you know, a work situation where there's chaos, conflict, and drama in the workplace. Um, you know, and this is somebody here that's looking at this. It has to do with balance, whether someone's just right or it's about doing the right thing. So I, I definitely see the energy of someone taking a pause, going within in a reflection, trusting their intuition. It's time to release. It's time to let someone go. So somebody could be getting fired. Okay, from a job, but it's someone letting someone go. 
Yeah. So we have the world. So there's the change. See, this is somebody moving on. This person has a lot of abundance. So it's an energy of someone moving on, moving towards something new. Some of you are actually going through the same thing. Yeah. Masculine and feminine perspective here as well for some of you. Um, if you are a masculine um, and you're in that emperor energy where you're quite well off, you're pretty comfortable. Okay. You may be moving on from someone. Well, where you're going to run into is this person here, this Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Or just somebody who's in that energy, very stable, grounded, focus on their money. Yeah. But I feel like this news nice. Let's have a look at the new. What is all this happiness and joy after this uh, change of perspective? Yeah, see, something possible to do with new, to do with children. There's also someone fantasizing, romanticizing. It looks like a new crush. <laughs> Someone's been checking you out here. So there's someone about to make a choice, I feel, a decision. It's a person who's kind of been procrastinating. They're looking at all the options. This is someone who knows a good thing when they see it. You know, you've got a Virgo energy, somebody with Virgo in their chart. It could be the emperor. But if you are a masculine Taurus, this is yourself and this is a Virgo. Where they could be checking you out. <laughs> this is definitely a crush energy. But I do see someone reflecting on past, putting the past behind. See, now focusing on the future. See, this is someone choosing a different path. Yeah, I feel this is someone who's going to... They're looking for something. This is what they're looking for is the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone who knows a good thing when they see it, they see opportunity. Yep. This is someone going down a whole new path. Beautiful. It's a life path choice, someone at a crossroads. They're choosing a different path, making a choice. Yeah, and it could be someone making a choice between several people, and it could be a job situation too. I got to you know, yeah. There we go. Happy home, happy life. Taking things to the next level. Now this is cooperation, compromise, creativity. Something to do with a home, creativity. Uh, and also someone's financial foundation. There's a reason to celebrate. See, somebody's feeling, it could be someone who's moving and relocating, but someone's feeling really, really positive. Now, this could be someone who's looking for a house or a home. It could be someone new in your neighborhood, checking things out. This could be someone here. I feel uh, it's trying to tell me something about this creativity with the Three of Pentacles, this working in a team setting, but it's also the things that two people have in common. This could be like I say divorce or, yeah, there's something you and this person are going to have in common. Now, you could live in the same building. This is often a building, but... I, it has to do with a strong financial foundation. It has to do with creativity, taking something to the next level or going down this path and making a life path choice. Could be someone checking out houses, homes, looking at possibility. I do see creativity. If you do something with houses, homes, this person may reach out. So is someone checking someone out? But I also, that really big energy of change of focus looking at things from a different perspective, looking at someone else's point of view. Because the energy of the the emperor and empress is be, when you you see that right there is being able to see, putting the shoe on the other foot to see how the other person feels. Someone who knows how the other person feels. So, yeah, but look at, there's that opportunity. Yeah? See, it's an energy of someone being open. Being open to options, opportunities, a fresh new start. So, now this could be an invitation, some kind of gathering. I feel this person's going to reach out. I actually feel like, you know, maybe you don't feel like you have enough money or you there's something here with the feminine. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Who is this person? Somebody's about reaching out. It's about whether you're going to reciprocate. Oops, stuck together. Yeah, see, it's an energy. Oh, this is an energy of someone who, this is something somebody wants, everything they could ever hope for. Now, it's an energy of letting go of expect, expectation. Could be someone who feels you're out of their league. 
Yeah, someone's not so sure here if they should reciprocate or not. But there's something new. It's energy of going towards new, letting go of this helpless, hopeless. To me, it's like help is on the way. Yeah, there's something going on that this Queen of Pentacles needs to release. I feel it's yourself, for most of you, releasing things that no longer serve. But knowing your worth and value, and I feel it has to do with uh, value, respect. Yeah, there's it could be to do with a house and a home, maybe. I mean, trying to find a new place to live, some of you, feeling like something is out of your league, it's too much money. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. It's an energy of someone searching for something. Someone is searching for something here. It's an energy of a person becoming more confident, being strong, confident, brave. Yeah, making a choice here. It's definitely a choice. Someone has been procrastinating. Actually, both people. I wonder if I wonder if this is someone going to reach out and offer you something that you felt that you felt it's out of your reach or out of your league. Uh, could be a house or a home or someone who feels they want to reach out. It's like your hopes and dreams, but. You know, it's telling you to stay confident here. I feel it's an energy of just letting go of this negativity. There's something very negative. Yeah, this is someone who wants to reach out. They want to know how you feel. You got a person looking for love here. So someone's going to reach out. They want to know how you feel. Now, they may feel like you're out of their league if you're the queen of pentacles, the feminine. But if you're, in a, if you're a masculine, then you would be the emperor in this um in this and it has to do with choosing someone who's just right choosing this life path making a choice to either take a relationship to the next level or invite someone to your home uh, but it has to do with creativity what two people bring to the table someone's looking at all the possibilities kind of fantasizing you know but there's a decision being made about what someone brings to the table well the queen of pentacles is is somebody who likes a comfortable home. I mean, this is someone who works hard. You know, they're definitely very grounded, very sensible, very practical, someone who's always prepared. Yeah, so I, that's why I feel like this, is, this person's everything they could ever want. But for some reason, this is that they need to let go of the negativity. And maybe it is the emperor who's been needing to release. I mean, it could be someone who has people competing for their attention. And they, you know, they don't really see anything in those people. But uh, it tells me I see a new crush, but I see someone. This is someone who wants something new. And there is lots of joy and happiness. I mean, it could have to do with children. Longing for love, longing for children, wanting something new, new house, new home, uh, moving, relocating. It's definitely a person who's moving past this, releasing the negative energy. Tell me about this contemplation with the hermit. Yeah, this is someone definitely working very hard. Someone who maybe works from home. Could be someone looking at ways to start a business from home or someone's putting a lot of work into finding a home. Because they're searching for something. And I wonder if the two of you are going to cross paths. But I, I feel there's someone here longing for love. It's everything they could ever want is that Queen of Pentacles energy. Who is this King of Cups? You know, they want to start something here. I, I feel like you've it's a start of something. This is a jet this is actually a very generous offer. Very generous. Ask and you shall receive, I feel is what it's trying to say. Because I see that helpless and hopeless, something long term. I don't know if this is a um, leasing a home or long term relationship or a job, but whatever this helpless and hopeless, someone's turning their back on that energy. It's now the sun. So it's an energy of someone finding what they want. Let's have a look at the star. Why is the star? But this is a person letting go of something, though. Yeah, it's just a negative. It's an energy of someone releasing all this negativity, chaos, conflict. See, it's an energy of someone letting something go. They're looking for something else. We have two people searching for the same thing. Now, I wonder if we got two people competing for a house or a home or a job. 
It could be a home where you both end up maybe deciding to share it. Someone feels like it's out of their league or they don't have enough money. But I, I feel there's love here too. So there, I do see that. But I also see someone who's very kind and very compassionate, very generous. Somebody's about to offer someone some generosity. Now, often the king, anytime you see the king or queen of cups who are generous with someone, it often comes back to them. So there's something happening here and I can't quite put my finger on it. What is this helpless and hopeless about? What is this about? Yeah, some kind of talk, communication, fast moving energy. There's some kind of change that's happening quickly. I see two people talking. This is two people looking for the same thing, searching for the same thing, both feeling everything could be the price. Everything's too much. It's out of their range because that's what I feel with this. You see, something's out of someone's range or price range, but this is someone kind, compassionate, being generous. Someone's being generous. This King of Cups is someone being generous. This is an emperor being really generous to someone. Now, this could be helping somebody with a down payment. This could also be somebody who offers someone a place to live, but it could be two people coming together, sharing a place. <laughs> I don't, if we have a single parent here, yeah, working very hard, feeling everything's out of reach, you're searching, someone's searching, but then there's that help on the way. So I actually feel you gonna. these are, you're going to cross paths with someone, but this is also an energy of someone wanting to take a situation to the next level. They want to build something. They want to build. See, this is someone going within, doing a little inner work. See, changing their focus, feeling a lot of happiness and joy. It's about starting something new. It could be building a house, building a home, a down payment on a home. Now, this is also an energy of happiness and joy and a reason to celebrate an invitation of some kind. It's, it's a fresh new start. I mean, it could be someone looking at a home thinking it needs a little creativity or a woman's touch. Um, the feminine energy <laughs> could be a job opportunity. Hey, fix this up. I'll pay you so much if you can fix this up. So this is an energy of like opportunity where one door opens and leads to another. Yeah, I honestly, I'm baffled a little bit by this energy. But yeah, this helpless and hopeless is actually going to turn out very good. Things are going to get better and better. I can feel that energy. So let's have a look at this chaos and conflict. Yeah, see, it's an energy of some, somebody here taking strength, manifesting, trying to overcome obstacles, challenges, competition. There could be job competition, love interest competition, fighting in a relationship. Yeah. See, somebody here doesn't want to fight, and that's what I feel. They want. They just feel beat up. They just want to give up and put this behind. Someone just wants to put this behind. It's time for change. So, yeah. So it looks like a relationship or marriage. It's just. It's an energy where somebody's going within, trusting their intuition. This is someone who's just not right for them. Chaos, conflict, and drama. Yeah, there's some kind of communication. See, it's chaotic, uh, arguing, fighting kind of communication. The way someone communicates. I think someone's had enough of it. Let's have a look at justice. Yeah, the letter A, yeah, there's the tower. This is somebody here, the tower coming down, having that moment. It's time, but I feel they're doing it calmly. It's This is somebody here who's looking at things from a different perspective and changing their perspective and just let this is someone letting someone go but also releasing all this negativity and ready to start something new here they're ready to build something new yeah it's almost like this is too much work this isn't worth the work this is worth the work yeah somebody want this person this emperor wants someone who's uh, strong capable reliable yeah, so this and I do feel the energy of confidence. See, someone was lacking the confidence now feels confident, and I feel that's the feminine. See, it's the key to someone's heart. Here, there's the letter D. There's a fan. Now that fan is someone who's adores somebody or admires them. So it's a key to someone's heart or the key to a home. See, this is interesting. And there we go. Somebody could be just buying a home here, but I'm not. It could be someone giving someone the money, a family member, a down payment on a home or loaning or someone was generous. See, I feel like we got an emperor being really generous and offering someone something here. 
this could go somewhere though this is interesting because i feel this is i mean it could be just somebody who is just really kind and compassionate and caring but i i feel there's feelings here someone hiding behind a mask not really telling someone so but it's like one it's an energy of someone out on, on a different path they're going down this path there's the letter T. There's that horse. See, it's an energy of someone moving on here. They're looking at all the possibilities. There we have the end. Somebody putting their best foot forward. This is someone stepping into a new life. It's a step in the right direction. So, very nice. This is someone's path. If you're wondering, Taurus masculines too. If you are on the right path, yeah, I feel like you are. Okay, but I do see this kindness, compassion, generosity, reciprocity. Somebody was generous with someone. So I do feel someone either paying somebody back or we have someone helping. This is a beautiful, generous offer. This is building the foundation. See, there's no foundation here. This is someone actually thinking about marriage and commitment, building, the, building something. And it could be a home-based business as part of it. Yeah. Oh, I see a, a kiss. I see the letter Y. I'm going to do it with the other hand. I try to look away. Yeah. So there's the start. Something romantic. See, someone's romanticizing, fantasizing, uh, offering this cup. I see the a king, a crown. See, it has the key to someone's heart. Someone's going to take off the mask, but this is someone here. It has to do with fans, someone who gets a lot of attention. See, they... Yeah, this is admiration. Something mutual is going to happen between two people. It's the letter J. It's the letter G. The letter M. That comes with some strength with Leo. The letter L and N. Now, this has comes with strength and this walking away. It takes a lot of strength to walk away. Someone is staying strong, but it's also an energy of someone who's looking on the past with kindness, compassion. Somebody who's very forgiving. But they're moving on. This is two people coming together. This is two people's paths are going to cross to do with a house, a home, or a job. Yeah, it's crazy, but it's one thing's going to lead to another. I, I, I think this is really interesting, but I'm just going to leave that. The letter Y, uh, the letter V. Let's have a look at this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's the U. So sometimes a person um, taking takes a pause, the U, and a U-turn kind of energy and looks at something again before someone walks away. There's the good omen. There's some good luck coming in. I actually feel if money was an issue, it's going to get better and better. Now, if you've been looking for a home and there's not a lot of money coming in, I feel someone being generous. Very kind and compassionate. It's an energy of someone paying it forward because someone did that for them. But I also see love too. So someone doesn't want someone to walk away. It's two people looking for the same thing. This is really nice. Let's grab a, the moon cards and have a look at the moonology for the timing here. Yeah, this is one of these readings that the readings are going to be a little bizarre this week. So you got to be patient when you're listening to them and just take what resonates and what doesn't and just see what happens in this is in this next week or so. Okay. Maybe even a little bit longer. So, Taurus, what is it you need to know? Okay, there's two. This one was in my hand first. Time to give rather than take. Yeah, new moon in Virgo. See, somebody's about to be very generous. Someone's paying it forward. It's either someone helping you out paying it forward because they've experienced this going through a divorce, chaos and conflict, so many obstacles and challenge, or it actually is somebody coming in to start something and they're quite serious. So they're about to become very generous to give. And then we have a win-win outcome as forecast. See, something to do with Libra energy. Mm -hmm. This could be a job situation, love. Yeah, this is a win-win. This is where both people win. Both people are looking for the same thing. So I don't know if you're going to share a business space, a house or one thing's leading to another it's a whole new path a fresh new start a new opportunity i also see creativity a fresh coat of paint things like that 
So, so, uh, someone's needing help with something. I can see it. And it's going to be paid forward, whether it be money, time, or energy. Whatever it is. Let's have another Moonology card here. Whoops. Or Taurus. And I see communication is key, new moon in Gemini. So it has to do with there's the communication. It's coming in very quick. It's very fast. And I also see multiple things going on in a very, very busy time. So, yeah, it comes in suddenly. It's like all of a sudden things are just going to start getting better. But it's going to be a little overwhelming. So it's, if you are the feminine energy, prepare yourself. Plan and prepare ahead for a busy time. Okay. Someone is coming in to talk. There's going to be communication. That's the key. Key to the heart, to love, some kind of communication. And then you are, you and your loved one are safe. See, it's safety, security, and financial stability. If you're a single parent, Taurus, if you have cancer in your chart, or this could be somebody with cancer, um, it's just cancer energy. It's the new moon in cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So that's energies here. See, it's about being safe. A house and a home, strong financial foundation. And then we have energy is gaining momentum. This other one wanted to come out. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Have faith in your dreams. So it's an energy of having faith in your dreams. See, someone's found, it's about dream. Like I said, if you want something, fantasize it, visualize it. Because... That's what I feel is happening here, but it's actually going to happen. It's like two people who are looking for the same things, paths are going to cross and you're going to go down. It's an energy of either a pay raise or a higher paid position or going down this path together, teaming up. So, yeah, the energy is gaining momentum. So this is where things things are going to start picking up. I actually feel more money will start coming in too, if that's an issue. It's going to take a little time. You may have to invest in something. You may have to put a little extra money out to get back more uh, as well. But I just see this King of Cups kind and compassionate. Uh, somebody who's mature, um, definitely being very generous to someone. You know, it almost feels, I almost feel like somebody, this is somebody who would give their shirt off their back to somebody, uh, especially if they're a single parent. Yeah, pretty interesting. Or anyone, anyone who's needing help. So somebody is feeling helpless, hopeless, like things aren't going to, this is someone searching, feeling like they're never going to find what they need, whether it's work, job, a house, a home, or even a love interest. Well, there it is. And there's good omen. There's some good luck here. So I wish you guys the best. Do take care and we'll see you soon.